We're now going to continue our lessons using Gruly here. I imported him before and he's good to go. If you need to re-import him, just as a refresher, you can go to File, Import, Library, Characters, Anime Studio 10, and then you can choose him from the list. Here, we're going to discuss the hierarchy of layers, specifically how bones and groups work. So to start off, on the layers panel, near the bottom right here, you can see that we have two layers. We have Gruly, and then we have the vector layer, which is blank. The blank vector layer will always appear whenever you create a new document, just in case if you're wondering. You really don't need it, as long as you have one layer present, we can choose to delete that and just work with the Gruly layer if we wish. But I just want to point out that that's how that works. But here we have Gruly, and we have just one layer, it appears. But that's actually not the case. If you look at the bone icon, to the left of it is an arrow. And this indicates that there is more to Gruly inside of the bone layer. So if we click on this arrow, it will expand out. And you can see now we have access to the limbs as well as a body group and a tail group. So what this means is you can have groups within bones. Even though a bone layer is essentially a group, it comes with the special functionality of being able to control your character with bones. A group is more or less a way to organize layers on your timeline and set up masks. So to see here, if we click on the body group and bring that down, you can see inside of the body, we have horns and eyes. Now the horn left and eyes are actually groups themselves. And inside of that, we have vectors. So you can see here, we already went from gruely to body to horn left to shading just to get to one vector. But again, you can set up your hierarchy however you wish, as long as it works out so that it's organized and you have an easy time accessing those layers. Another thing to point out is you'll notice that some groups look different. For instance, we have the body group right here that has three lines on its icon. And then the group here has a circle that has half white and half black. Well, the body with the three lines, if I double click on this, I can go into some layer settings. And if we come over here to depth sort, you can see that enable animated layer order is enabled. So what that icon means is we can choose to move our layers up and down within this group in the animation to have them order differently. So if you want, for instance, the eyes to go above the horn at some point, you could do that with this enabled. And that's what that little icon means. The icon representing the horn left and eyes for the group means it's being masked. And you can see that here playing out. For instance, we have a shade effect here that's actually extending outside of the horn. But because of the masking, the horn structure is acting as a boundary for the line work and the shading. So not only can groups be useful for just straight up organizing, but they can also help when it comes to masking and setting up animated group ordering. You'll see that, for instance, we have the left arm vector inside of that bone layer, and it's sitting right here. And along with that, the bones from the bone layer are actually overlaying the arm. And then we were able to go in link the vectors to the bone. And you can do that because the left arm and any of these vectors are within the bone layer. And we can then say, okay, we want the hand to link to this bone, this part of the arm to link to the middle bone, and then the shoulder to link to the end bone. And you can easily go in and reference that when you are working this way. Now, let's say for instance, you had the left arm for whatever reason outside of that gruely layer, as you can see. When I click on the left arm now, we don't have access to those bones. That's because left arm is not inside of the bone layer. So it's really important when you're setting up your characters that you organize things in a logical way 
as well as keeping the elements that you want to animate with bones inside of that bone group layer.